So this is just a driving vlog on my GoPro. Um, if it's shaky, it's because the whole truck is shaky because I'm on the highway. Um, hopefully it's a little bit more smooth than any of my other cameras. So today I wanted to vlog about what I just did, which was I had to drive a couple hours from my home to go move my mother. She just got evicted from the place that she was staying at because she had a screaming fit. Um, as if when they uh, allowed her to start her lease there, they didn't know that she was crazy. I mean, you can't go three minutes talking to the lady without realizing that there's something wrong. But uh, she had a screaming fit, and then uh, she tried to argue with the landlady and say that she was just praying. Uh, apparently she was praying so loud that uh, all of her neighbors could hear her through the walls. And she got evicted. And so uh, the landlady was nice enough to work with me, and, and uh, she had two months notice that her lease was not going to be renewed and we had to try to find her some other accommodations now in that time I contacted a caseworker because this is getting a little out of hand I mean this isn't the first place that she's been evicted from and this caseworker was uh, on the ball, had all of these different uh, options that could have happened, and one of which was she could go into assisted living, right? She's old, she's off a rocker, perfect fit, right? They deal with that all the time. Problem being, uh, that of autonomy. Nobody has power of attorney over her. Nobody... Uh, has been able to wrestle uh, the, the ability to make decisions away from her. She can pay her own bills. She's surprisingly uh, able to take care of herself despite all of uh, the delusions and screaming. She pays her bills on time. And she hasn't been homeless uh, ever. She's always had a roof over her head and I guess that's one of the measures of whether or not you can uh, continue to care for yourself is can you keep a roof over your head and she's good about that she cleans a little bit too much she's a hypochondriac but um, other than that she she's really not living to her full, fullest potential in my eyes um, because of all this moving around but uh, she didn't want to go into assisted living. And here's the strange reason, okay? Assisted living, I've found out, is kind of like socialism for old people. Whatever you make, be it uh, $1,000 or $3,000 on Social Security, they take it all, but everybody just gets a little bit of money to spend of their own, like a little allowance out of that. So everyone, whether they make 1000 or 3000 they all get like 100 bucks from their assisted living place. And the assisted living place will find other ways to get like housing subsidies and uh, grants and whatnot to help pay for the rest. But they take all the money and they evenly only give a little bit of money out to all of the assisted living residents. And here's the problem with that. Not only does my mother have the ability to pay for a roof over her head, she actually has credit cards for shit like Finger Hut. Okay? And when I say fucking Finger Hut, I've gotten a fucking frozen ham in the mail because they mark it to her wherever she's at. She'll get, like, fucking Finger Hut flyers and just little crappy fucking credit cards for shit you don't need, right? 
And with all of the bills that she has, she needs about $400 of spending money to be able to pay her bills, right? So she won't go into assisted living because they'll take all her money and only give her 100 and she'll have to default on her, her debts, right? And she has enough presence of mind to think that that's a bad thing. But I guess this is not something that just she has to deal with. Everybody, when they make that decision that they need to go to an old folks home and they need to go to assisted living, they all pretty much have to decide, well, I guess it's time to default on all my debts because if I'm going to go in this place that, you know, costs thousands upon thousands, they're going to take all of my money, give me $100, and then find grants and subsidies to pay the rest. But forever on, I only get this little tiny allowance and it's not going to pay all those bills that I racked up with credit cards. So, what's, what's unnerving is that fucking frozen hams from fucking Finger Hut are the reason why I can't convince her to go to assisted living. Seriously, some of the stupidest little debts, you know, little credit cards that, my God, just the, sh the shit that she buys, right? And it's nice to get gifts, yeah, but when, when you realize you didn't need any of the crap that she bought, nobody needs any of the crap that she bought, right? And that's what's keeping her from making the best decision to be able to really live the fullest for the rest of her years on this fucking planet. That really fucking gets under my skin, right? So I've got a fucking truckload of fucking furniture that I'm a fucking store for her because, yeah, whatever. I'm fucking racking up points for fucking son of the year for 2017. I'm way out in the lead, motherfuckers. Way out in the lead after what I fucking went through today. I cleaned out a fucking apartment for someone. Yeah. So that's all. That's my ramble fucking rant. I wish that, uh, there was a different way to treat old people than to just have it institutionalized that they lose all their money. No matter what they fucking made in life, you know, be it $1,000 or $3,000 worth of fucking social security credits to where, you know, they, they should have been able to live comfortably based on how hard they worked in fucking life. You know, if they made the best fucking max payout from fucking Social Security, they still get the same amount of fucking uh, spending money. And that's fucking wrong. It's fucking wrong. It's like fucking socialism for old people. It's just a fucking churning machine of fucking, let's grab your fucking grandma and, and grandpa and treat them just like everyone else, even though they fucking worked hard in their life you know, versus somebody who didn't have those fucking work credits for social security. They get the same fucking thing as, as whether it, you, is it, as if they fucking worked hard, you know, everyone gets the fucking same treatment. And to know that, that some of my loved ones were some of the fucking hardest working people on the fucking planet and they're all fucking ending their lives in, in fucking old, ho old folks' homes that are going to treat them with th that kind of fucking care, where it doesn't matter who they were, you know, it doesn't matter that they're actually paying into the system way more, and they should be getting more out of it, no, everybody fucking gets treated the same, um, yeah, end of rant.